Hi, welcome. This is the energy of today, July 21st. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today? July 21st. July 21st. So wide open. Okay, that's good. That's um, the kind of energy you'd want in the sense of ready to take a leap of faith in something. Um, could be a choice that maybe you haven't made and now you have. Uh, it's almost that sense of having clarity as well. And then the magic stream, very good. Uh, and then you have the rescue and the dry quest. So maybe you're feeling as if you want to go towards something or you want to be carefree about something. It's very much like you're having guidance from um, your inner spirit, your higher self, your God, whatever it is that you believe in. But there's this sur sort of surge uh, moving you towards something peaceful. Um, and it's really a great rescue, really, if you think about it. If you've been in that place of isolation and not really knowing how to feel about things or um, maybe just alone or not heard kind of a thing, it's almost as if this gives you that rescue, that uh, get out of jail card kind of thing. Um, and I do feel with the dry quest, if you've been... On, on this place of uh, things not happening or things just failing. Um, it, it just seems like it's almost to about to end. Perhaps maybe you're having a hard time letting go of the things that have failed. Um, that could be anything with money, uh, finance, you know, um, family, love, or just a sort of emptiness that you have within yourself but really being guided to your your spirit side, okay? Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. So you also have the spark. So see, there's this thing here with the spark of new, new ideas coming to you in the sense of maybe wanting to try those things and not really caring what other people think. It's like singing to the tune of your own voice, Okay, and then um, the, I'm showing you the ones that came out as well. So um, with this one, it, it's almost like paying attention to everything. Details, details, details. Um, have you been so, so stuck in this sort of pattern of routine? You know, that's what it feels like. You just in the routine and that's what all the details is. It's almost as if you want to break free out of that and just sort of have almost like kind of freedom to roam around in the direction that you want to. Um, maybe this is somebody who's like not being such a workaholic, I feel, um, going down a different uh, route, perhaps going into this place of just something simpler, okay? And then you have the one ring circus. Um, I think you've seen a lot of things happening. I think you're questioning a lot of things goofy kind of things that you're just like what the heck is that real is that true um this is where you have to sort of think for yourself you have to sort of um pull yourself away from any distractions or things that are happening that are just sort of they stifle you you know and then um the last one that came out was the coming apart so there's something here in that sense with the coming apart of maybe your your values are different or something in the morale kind of uh, factor in your head you're seeing something totally different and it's actually a very positive way to go but you might still be lingering on to the old habits or the old things the things that sort of make you feel like it's a dry quest like you're out there alone when you're really not okay um at the top of the deck you have the moonlight and so this is where there's a lot of changes going on but these changes they shed the darkness in the sense of being isolated and being not heard um maybe this is where you definitely listen to your consciousness your 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 spirit your own spirit and sort of uh open up to intuition and have trust okay um Whatever the situation is for you, I do see it getting better. I do see this sense of maybe becoming more aware of what makes you tick and what makes you happy. Okay. Um, and then let's see at the top, at the bottom of the deck. So 
And see, this is that energy again. Follow the leader. It's almost as if, and see the light. It's, it's very much leading you into the sense of everything is okay. Uh, that sense of healing, um, the sense of just no worries, and you're going in the right direction. Okay, whatever this entails for you, it's it's almost as if. Um, you really do have to stick your head out of the water and see things um, that are that are going on in your life, okay? And you might feel that things are coming apart. The things that are coming apart for you are not the true things or not the things that maybe you've been so focused on, um, you know? Maybe I feel it's like that cookie cutter kind of thing. Uh, you know, we've been living this sort of cookie cutter kind of thing as a routine, go to work, go to school, um, come home, eat, sleep. It's, it's, it's supposed to be more meaningful than that. And perhaps this is why you're wide open. Okay. In the sense of being aware of stuff. So take it as it resonates for you today. I will sure take a look deeper into these and see what they mean for you. But welcome i do hope that you are doing well uh, perhaps you've hit the rock bottom of your situation is what i feel and now you're starting to follow that intuition that that new kind of spark of hope that is coming in um meaning l letting go of um all the hardship or all the craziness that's happening in the world and just really staying focused, perhaps within your mind, your body and your spirit and in your family. Um, you know, that's what I feel. Okay. Simpler. It's like simpler. Okay. Uh, 42. What is the wide open? What does this mean for the viewer? Wide open. Um, you can go and, and really try new things and don't feel hesitation um, as far as you know, even maybe surrendering to the things that you once believed and now they're sort of forming in a different shape. You're, you're growing up like what I see is evolving. Um, you know, don't feel don't don't feel like you have to stay with one choice. It's like um, allowing yourself to be flexible and go towards different directions. Um, see six of swords. So either you you've sort of surrendered to something okay i feel this is a surrender with the wide open and the two cards that came out in that sense of oh my gosh you finally get it you're you're it's almost like it's it's like light has sort of gone on and you see your path you see which direction you need to go towards with the judgment and the six of swords and my gosh i feel it's really um an awakening in that sense of finding your spirituality um, shedding that skin and allowing yourself to leave all the trauma, the worry, the stress, whatever it is, and really just surrender and trust God. Okay. Um, judgment, please. The judgment here. Uh, the King of Pentacles. So, see, doing this, moving yourself from this place of being rigid and not being able to move because of fear or anxiety or because you feel obligated, it's going to make you stronger in the sense that everything that you've been wanting will come in. Isn't that just the opposite? Because if you look at those cards out there, you have the wide open and then the magic stream, and then you have the rescue and the the dry quest. So it's, see, it's almost like the yin and the yang it's like you know and i feel like you're surrendering to it and then you're getting everything that you truly want in other words you're you're surrendering to balance like balancing you know there's always going to be issues and problems that you come across but you can still stay level-headed and really manifest everything that you truly want so the king of pentacles that's a great card because it is a king um and i do feel that sense of maturity i think i said grow grow up like I think you're seeing things totally different here. And that is a gain. That is that sense of you're getting that payoff, you know. Um, and it's really divine timing, really. I think this is your moment to really shine and do whatever it is that you you sort of been holding yourself back from. Okay. Um, the, what is the four of pentacles? Four of pentacles. This could be in love. This could be in, in the way you see yourself, your mind, your body, your spirit. It could be about your family. 
um, you know, so take it as it resonates. Maybe your job. What is the Four of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the ones that want to come out are, I <laughs> see, a lot of Pentacles, guys. The Pentacles mean it's happening here on the 3D, okay? It's close to where we are. Um, so you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. So you have one, two, three, four. Four Pentacles right off the bat. This is happening now, okay? Um, there is success here in that sense of you're going to get your new beginning. Is this new beginning in your job? Okay. Is this the new beginning with the partner that you've been seeking and you so want to maybe have this connection with? I do feel you're going towards that stability with the Knight of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is beautiful because this is a long-weighted kind of a thing. I feel like this is, um, there's a lightness in the room today in that sense of maybe reaching that level of success or um, just airiness, um, clarity, knowing which way to go, sort of happy as well. Um, so whoever this is, it's almost like you've you've accomplished something. If, you, if it hasn't quite hit you yet, I do feel it's coming soon, okay? Um, you know, Tarot, it, it, I do them every day, but you have to understand that we humans are the ones that run by time. Um, spirit doesn't run by time. You know, there's time is linear and it, it does not sort of wait for us or, you know, take a break. It's it, everything happens now. So it's very hard um, for things. If you don't see them happening today or tomorrow, it's like this is what's in store. This is what's coming. So either you're reaching it now or it's very soon that this success comes in. Because somebody here is wide open. They're they're free and clear with this card, okay? Which is beautiful because you're leaving all the difficulty. And it's almost like you're getting everything that you truly wanted and everything that you manifested, okay? So very nice for whoever this is. There is a king and a queen of... A king of pentacles and a queen of wands. Is this your vision? Is this what you're striving for? You might be opposites, but you still connect and you still somewhat belong together. Okay. Um, very interesting. So I do feel you're, you're, maybe that's what you were worried about in the past of because you're opposite, you can't, you know, you won't be happy or you won't make this situation balance. But it's like yin and yang, just like I'm looking at these cards. Immediately when I saw the cards in my mind, I said, oh, yin and yang. Someone's very positive. Someone could be very dark. Is this crossing that bridge and sort of um, balancing out your, your energy, you know? Knowing that everything is going well and you're where you're supposed to be, but yet there's still going to be roadblocks, you know? Uh, things that you know, you might have to discover how to maybe go around versus being stuck in them okay um yeah let's see what is the magic stream here what is the magic and then it's god really the magic stream is god okay um you got the seven of swords uh, the hermit and i laugh because uh, see this is definitely what i feel it's it's like Maybe you shied away from believing in God or spirit or uh, whatever it is that is a positive side for you. Have you held back from listening to your intuition for so long that now finally with the tower card, it's spirit sort of causing things to happen to wake you up to say, no, that has to end and you have to go down this straight and narrow path, okay? Instead of going down the path of trickery and deceit and lying and cheating and manipulation and just sort of being tricked to do everything that you're supposed to do, it's as if now with the tower card here, um, God is stripping something down from you and he's making you walk down that straight and narrow path right here which with the hermit, which is... Um, the better place to be really because I don't feel there's any pressure I don't feel that there's any sense of um, resistance okay and that's really good uh, what is the tower please the tower uh, my heart feels warm and fuzzy and the sense of happiness so whoever this is it's almost like you've accomplished something and you're just so ever happy on the inside okay so you got the hangman 
you got the two of wands and the ten of wands so see the tower these are the things that you sort of put yourself on idle and didn't go after with two of wands is this the person that you didn't go after is this your plan that maybe you you plan to do but you never did it um, is this a new venture as far as business? Is this you relocating your home or your job or um, plans, things that you want? But see, it's like society or family or business or it, it just got to be too much, too much on, on, on your load, you know, like your workload, your, your um, anxiety load, everything was just too heavy. And so what ha is happening here is spirit is knocking all this stuff down so that you can really be able to, um, you know, go towards the things that you want with the two of wands. OK, um, maybe this is ending a separation for somebody, some something that you had to sort of step back from, you know, and maybe have a look at. And now it's coming back together for you. OK, what is the hermit here? What is the hermit? It's divine timing. They keep telling me, see, look, divine timing, three of cups, a reunion, coming together, celebrating. Um, don't spend too much time in the dark. Don't spend too much time in the light. Go down the middle. Balance both. Okay. Um, let's see. What is the seven of swords? Seven of swords. So it is the, the two of cups. So see. And it flung out in reverse, guys. I don't know if you saw that. Like, it was upright and it flung out and it went in reverse. So, have you been holding yourself back from this love? You know, is that why right here with the wide open and you are opposites maybe? Maybe the situation is op opposite to you if it isn't a person. And you, you in your ego, in your mind, it's almost as if you, you can't have it. So, you tell yourself that. So, you move away from it is that why the two of cups is in reverse um i definitely do feel like this is that awakening to okay i can have this this can work i maybe you have to get rid of the ego that's telling you this is not gonna work okay um yeah let's see here what's the two of cups in reverse two of cups in reverse please two of cups in reverse please two of cups okay so the death card um that is the resistance of not going through that transformation that is the resistance of not letting this connection or this thing happen for you uh it's almost like you you have withheld from it okay um and really i do feel with the death in reverse it's as if um maybe you've turned your back Oops, sorry about that guys i'm just moving around back here um maybe it's that sense of um you know just not taking a chance or scared you know um let's see i definitely do feel it's like you had to maybe take a temporary stance or no a temporary setback like maybe a separation or something to really acknowledge that this is really what you want um it's almost like uh maybe you even had to strategize how can i have how can i make this happen okay because maybe there was so much disbelief in this situation for you um so i do feel this is maybe a uh, something that's coming back together for you i do feel it's a relationship for many of you um what is the death in reverse please the death in reverse see the worry um the worry this the the not sleeping the i made a mistake um kind of feeling here and it's god that's making you sort of go through these emotions that maybe you've been withholding for from yourself for a long time um, I do feel like this is with the, with the, um, the two of cups in reverse, the death card in reverse and the nine of swords, either you're worried about, about a person or a person's worried about you or, um, almost wondering, um, in that sense of, did I wait too long? Um, yeah, something like that. Let's see, let's go a little bit further and see, um, I think you're becoming emotional. 
in that sense of maybe thinking that this was no big deal for you, but it really is a big deal, okay? Um, the rescue, please. The rescue. What does the rescue mean? What is the rescue here, please? What is it? Okay, so taking that leap of faith, you got to rescue yourself. You got to sort of, instead of holding back a lot of fear with the two of cups in reverse and the death, it's almost like you got to come clean and somehow just take that risk. Uh, because if not, you're always going to be questioning what if I would have done that? What if I would have taken that risk? What if I would have asked um, for this situation or asked this person or whatever that is, okay? Oh my gosh. And see, I, I'm not looking at them until I, t I talk to you. So mm, the lovers, the six of wands and the page of wands. Wow. See, this is where you're going to get your rescue, Okay. Um, instead of secluding yourself from the situation and thinking it's not attainable or you can't you can't have it maybe you've done a lot of bad things and you just think you can't have it or this person or thing will reject you um, but your salvation is going to come through in the form of you taking that risk okay you're gonna you're gonna rescue yourself by taking that risk in choosing that thing or that person that you love, it's going to give you victory and success, okay? And so all that you need to do is speak up about it, give the message, or perhaps maybe you will be getting a message if it isn't you that needs to give the message, okay? Um, I do feel there's things coming here. I do feel it's a gift. I do feel it's almost um, the sense of um, somebody who has... I think you've been called a knucklehead or something like this. Like your head is really strong, like a, like very stubborn kind of energy. Um, and I feel like if finally somebody cracked through that head and it's like you're listening now. Okay. Whoever this is, I don't know. But um, that's what it feels like. And you are your own rescuer. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. And you can't be too worried about, oh my God, what if they deny me what if they don't take me is this the reason to hold yourself back from having this this grand thing that you you want okay um i want to know what is the dry quest what is the dry quest here so four of swords at peace let it come in um it's it's time to get yourself out of this place of of famine of of not having anything of isolating yourself because you're not truly happy and perhaps living that cookie cutter life of doing what everybody tells you in that sense of society and community and family you know this is where you allow that sort of nourishment nourishment to come in for you um and it's going to lead you into stability okay um dry quest please dry quest so you got the page of swords um, and the five of sword, five of cups. So there's that sense of um, a fear to speak up, you know, um, you're dwelling too much in the past. What happened in the past, there is an opportunity here to set things right with the three of wands and the six of pentacles in that sense of speaking up. Uh, getting over your ego with the five of cups and just sort of let things sort of balance out um there is that sense of balance here even though you feel the bad there the 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 good is going to sort of balance it out you see so you're you're stuck too much in your head thinking um of maybe that you're gonna fail or is it the ego that's just telling you no you can't have this you you're meant to stay in that dry quest no you're not you're not supposed to stay in that dry quest you're supposed to be fulfilled in life okay and that's what god is telling you here in the sense of there is that peace and reciprocity waiting for you you see it's going to come in for you but you might have to speak up um get over get over whatever you did in the past to this person or the situation really if you wanted to start up again this is your perfect opportunity to do it you're wide open okay um what is the five of cups what is this five of cups fear um okay so either taking a long time to grow manifest maybe you think the situation is gone in that sense if it's a person they're not interested in you anymore in the sense of its job, it's not there for you anymore. Um, it's 
taken a long time to manifest. But see, the Seven of Pentacles is great because, yeah, it takes a long time to, to grow things. But once they, stop once they start blossoming, you pick them. And the more you pick, the more comes. It's amazing. It's like gardening, really. When you plant your seed, you don't see it growing on the top. You see it, it it's growing on the bottom, so you don't see it. And then all of a sudden, it comes out from the top, and it just starts blossoming. And the more you pick, the more you get. So is that that fear? Have you been holding on to a fear of maybe if I take too much, I won't get enough back? Um, you know, it's almost as if you got to come to the conclusion that you can reap more, you know? Uh, don't be scared of it. Um, so maybe you just feel like there's something there that is just not yours anymore. Um, what is that feeling, please? Seven of Pentacles. What is the Seven of Pentacles? What is the Seven of Pentacles, please? Um, okay, so um, Page of Pentacles. Yet again, another message, another chance to get up and speak or or give a gift or give an invite five of swords and the five of pentacles see um i laugh because somebody wants to give a message okay someone wants to offer somebody something um and it's in their mind it's very very much in their mind but the thing that doesn't allow them to ask is the fear of losing out again it's that fear of maybe confessing what they've done or the sense of not being able to take no. Um, this is a very vulnerable kind of feeling in that sense of whoever this is for you, or whether it's you or them, it's like they can't really come out and voice things to you because of the fear of losing it out, you see? But yet on this side, it's like, yes, come to me. Yes, come to me. Everything's good. And then we get to this side and it's like, it's definitely twin flame, yin and yang kind of feeling, I feel, especially with the, the lovers right here and the victory. Um, so give me one for the five of pentacles, five of pentacles, please. Eight of pentacles. See, they're still working on that courage. They're still working on their, on, on themselves, on their mastering themselves, Okay. Um, five of swords, five of swords, but there is a surrender coming with the five of swords. See, it's, it's ending that old stagnant energy. It's, to, it's a 10. So it's almost over. Um, let's see. And the moon. So changes, just be aware. There's a lot of changes going and perhaps whoever this is, whether it's you or them, you got to get over the fear. Okay. So I want to know how does the story end? How does the story end for today, please? For this story, what is the conclusion, please? Ah, it's God bringing you together. Have patience, be healing. Don't hurry, it's divine timing. There is still time. Um, oh my goodness, the the um, I was gonna say 11 11. I go, uh, it's twin flame, you guys. Really, this is a twin flame, um, coming together. Uh, this is a union. This is a connection. This is um, building, uh, getting into that perfect partnership. Okay, um, you see the eleven eleven on there. It's it's amazing. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, and the sun. So definitely God. Anything is possible. Don't be beaten thinking that it's not possible, and you're gonna stay stagnant in this energy forever. You're not. Okay, one more, please. Give me one more okay oh geez okay they flipped over the one okay so you got the fool and the queen of wands so follow your intuition um is it to go towards this queen of wands or is it to to be empowered in your mind your body and spirit and to know that you're going in the right direction okay i feel it's like you got the queen of wands twice so it's really taking that plunge to this person, okay, and getting in that right commitment, okay. Um, so let's see here. Let's see. What can you show me as far as this karmic cycle here for this couple? I do feel it's a couple, guys, and it's almost like your opposites attract, you know. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Either you or they, they feel that they're not enough like not good enough but it says frustrated in a relationship uh lack of confidence self-sabotage fear so see 
that's where the five of swords and the five the the five of pentacles maybe they haven't elevated as much as they think they have but spirit is saying otherwise spirit is saying you will get everything once you allow this to happen you know um grow with the snake so perhaps this is um you know being tied to somebody who's narcissistic and they just sort of control you and use you and and enable you and put boundaries on you is that why you're in this mode of thinking that you're not enough because you if you don't take control of your mind someone else will and this is, has happened here that is the karmic cycle someone has taught you to feel like you're not good enough okay but you are good enough for this okay and so stab in the back heartbreak pain separated deception um shocking attack so see this is someone who has been put through the ringer um and perhaps the thing about this is that they've been put through the ringer but they have a very positive connection here that they're trying to go to but they still feel that negative energy of not being good enough and like it's going to be taken away so it's it's a hard thing but see here with the sun and the temperance it's telling you it can happen and it will happen if you take that leap of faith okay um let's see so i pray that whoever this is they will take that leap of faith and just get everything that they, they deserve because what they've been living in is not right it's not it's not what god intended for you um and so now it's time to let that karmic lesson go and move on um so let's see here so you have the cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over and over and that's what you got to let go of okay so let's see here um how can they continue to manifest this okay so it says unstick the stuck oh my gosh right like get out of that stuck mode because you can have so much more it's amazing um maybe they're realizing this now okay what else this one here um you are magic yes you are you're able to recreate things for yourself you're a magical being and they have taught us that we are not magic guys but we are born with magic on the inside um let's see here i want to know what is the love the secret love message what is the secret love message here please uh, okay so this one here um coherence so really no um with this card it's it's like knowing for yourself uh being coherent about the things that you do or you allow in or you know if you're going to be damp dampened by you know girl with a snake and not not being enough be coherent and know, enough to know that you're putting yourself down where you can really allow yourself to grow in a different direction okay if you allow yourself um it's all about receptivity okay uh, which is hard. It's really hard. I, I get it. Trust me. I've been there, done that. Um, so let's see here. What is the message here, please? What is the message here? What is the message here? A deep diver. Diving into a task. Yeah. Just sort of, you have to sort of believe and just go for it. Okay. Um, it, it, these, whatever this is for you, it's, it's a very deep emotional bond or a very deep emotional thing that is just sort of pulling you, okay? Uh, let's see here. What is the abundance message here? The abundance message here, please. Okay, so, oh, you got two. First one is mm -hmm, limitless. See yourself open to receive and the most miraculous way the divine can use anything and anyone see yes uh-huh also that to me is like timeless you know there is no time so let's see oh you actually got three okay so two fell out okay so humility allow the divine to always accept the right assistance i welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it so see that someone is they, they humbled themselves enough to allow this to happen and that's why we saw the judgment here 
uh, right in the very beginning you're you're humbling yourself okay whoever this is and i believe it's that king of pentacles it's a masculine energy ladies um so self-love and see let let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child i long to take care of myself like never before and that's the problem is that you gave yourself to the wrong thing to the wrong person um and you lost focus on loving yourself that that is definitely that sense of being lost and being in that dry quest well i think for whoever this is they're waking up to that okay um and they said to do a correction because i said ladies this is a masculine energy it is a masculine energy but maybe you are a female and your your um masculine okay if okay we as females um and males we carry masculine and feminine energy so it could be vice versa okay just the what they want me to say i don't know um let's see i'll get tongue-tied let's see here uh i hope that makes sense okay so what is um what is the what can you show me as far as this reading what pertains to this reading please oh the the checkered flag when i'm telling you that's great that's a good feeling that's a sense of accomplishing something and finishing the the, the um going through the finish line really um so that's the one that came out uh, let's see it says um conclusion outcome finale completion verdict settled results signaling to the end finish first achievement okay and that's the one that came out so uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Okay. If they could tell a message to each other, what would that message be, please? What is the message? If they could tell each other the message, a message, what would that be? Okay, so let's do this one here. It's this one here. So it says, look inside yourself, examine what is causing it examine what is causing you to feel this way and then this one here um don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in the beginning true and it's only in being true with yourself that you can be true to others uh and then this one right here so let there be closeness between you but always give each other space never love never claims it simply allows to give and then this one right here, it says, imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. And then this one here, um, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently are in. And then this one here, freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you ever want it to be. It is clear. If you want to take this, it's there. It's there for you. Okay. So let's see. Let's close it off with the soul level. A soul message, please. Soul message for the day. What is the soul message for this reading? The soul message, please. Oh, it's this one. Okay. So there's two. Um, am I apologizing for my truth? What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today's soul action is, today be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life it will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of you. This, this will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Today's mantra, courage is contagious. Yeah, it is. Remember, I, there's there's three pages here, and those pages we're talking about messaging and speaking up. So I truly believe that is tied into this. So what risk can I take today? Um, but be not mistaken. You will have to take a bigger risk than you ever thought possible on this path towards your dreams. 
you will have to take a big scary leap. But don't fret because your soul has wings. So today's action, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and courageous and you will discover that you, what you are really made of. And that is beautiful because I do feel somebody has been withheld here, whether it's through society, community, through a person, uh, through your just mental, the way you think. I think there's a break, breakthrough here, okay? So stick by whatever you're doing. Um, stay blessed and healthy. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me your comments and share the message, guys. Um, have a beautiful day and I continue to pray for you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay blessed.